Hi, in this video we will cover the transform window. The transform window handles channel values as well as the transform actions. Channels are displayed vertically, move x, y, and c, rotate x, y, and c, scale x, y, and c, the ik pull vector, and the reverse foot angles, which are roll, twist, and bank. You can directly edit the values into the fields and you can multi-select edit using shift and control. So for example, I can click on any of the channels and shift click to select multiple channels and change them that way. At the top of the window you find the different transform features. And the only button in this window that is not really considered a transform action is the reset and freeze feature, which is this button here. It's useful for cleaning and resetting values on a mesh before binding a skin on it. And this feature is only available in the rigging mode and it works only on a mesh selection. These transform commands up here work according to a selection of controllers of the picker so whichever joints or IK controllers are selected and it also works according to a selection of keyframes so for example you can have one keyframe selected or have multiple keyframes selected and change the transform on all of the selected keys it also works according to a selection of channels so for these checkboxes here, when unchecked, those channels will not be affected by any of the transform features up here. You can also select unselect full channels of the same category. So instead of just clicking on each of these channels, you can unselect them by the big button on the side. Also do not confuse this box selection with what is next to it, the keys. Uh, the box selection is only for using these feature buttons up here. When this key is not displaying, then it has deactivated the keyframeable channel. So this, you can see here that the scale for, for this selected IK control is not keyable. So I don't see any numbers and I also don't see the keys next to it. Before we go into details about transform actions, please keep in mind some special rules that make it easier to work with IKs and reverse foots controls. For IKs and RFs, transform actions like reset, copy and paste, or copy paste after, and mirror will be driven by the following rule. Whatever selection you make, the IK or RF controller, or the FK chain, full or part of it, that is being influenced by the controller, uh, the result will be the same as if you would have selected the full FK chain. Then the IK or RF target will be placed relatively to the chain leaf. So for example, here we have this arm and we have this joint, this joint, and the wrist joint are all being affected by this IK control. So if I were to select any of the joints that are being influenced or all of the FK joints or the controller or the controller and all of the joints and then I select any of these top buttons here then you can see that the IK and RF target is placed where the leaf, which is the last joint in the hierarchy, is placed. Uh, and that is for any of these top button transform buttons. The only exception to this rule concerns the copy paste feature. When you select only an IK or RF controller, so if we control C, uh, if we only select the controller, in this case, uh, the controller's position is copy and pasted and the FK chain is resolved after. So leading to a different result than if you had copy pasted the chain joints. So if we go into this keyframe, which is different 
So we'll, we'll copy keyframe 3 and we'll paste it on 6. Then you can see that the IK controller has moved and the FK arm is trying to do its best to... It's, it is affected by where the IK is pasted instead of um, being reset through the FK in the other instance. Also, some transform actions may have weird, although normal results if all ch channel boxes are not checked. So when you are doing any of these transform commands, please make sure that all of your transform boxes are checked. Now let's go over the commands. The first button resets the values of the selected joints to the ref post values in animation mode. So for any of the joints that I select, If I reset them, then they will be reset to the ref pose here in the animation screen. If I use the reset button in the rigging screen, then the joints will be reset to the values of the bind pose. Remember that for this command, selecting the IK or reverse foot control, uh, whether you select the target, joint chain, or both, you will always reset the full FK chain and the target will return to its uh, leaf or child position. So it won't actually work based on uh, the IK in the ref pose. Instead, it will work on the FK values of the ref pose. Like that. And the, the IK control will be put to wherever the child or leaf joint is. So next we have copy values. It will copy the selected channel values and please notice it also works between keyframes. Uh, you can copy values between keyframes or on a keyframe but you cannot paste values between keyframes. You always have to paste on a keyframe. So here we can copy this joint, this, these back joints in the middle of these two keyframes and then we can paste them over here. So the paste button is this button here and when copy pasting values on multiple joints, the hierarchy order matters. So the first copied in hierarchy will be pasted on, uh, so the first copied joint in the hierarchy will be pasted on the first joint in the hierarchy that it it is being pasted to. So I copied that and then I select three joints. I can paste them and it goes by order of hierarchy. When copying and pasting IKs or RFs, there are two ways to copy and paste uh, the controls. You can select the IK or RF target to copy and paste and by selecting and working through the the control, you benefit from the position of the control relative to the whole character. So the joint chain, uh, whatever is being influenced by the control, will follow, will do its best to follow the control's position. And this is useful for copying and pasting a target specific position. So here you can see that that my IK is really close to my character but it is way over here on the grid it's way over here so if I copy and paste it here then you can see the IK goes back to this position in the world and the arm does its best to try to uh, still be influenced by the position of the IK whereas if I copied 
Uh, the second way of doing this is if you copy the join chain or a part of it, you benefit from the FK position. So in this case, the target or the control will return to the child or leaf joint position. So if we copied the FK and pasted it here, then you can see that the IK follows the last joint. And then if you select both controls and joints, the result will be the same as if you have selected the full FK chain instead of selecting the, the control. And the target color is also copied and pasted. So if it's red, it'll be pasted as red, and if it's white or off, it'll be pasted as off. And then next we have the paste after key button. It will paste the copied keys after the current one. So this is very useful for copying an animation and pasting it inside the current one. So here we have this animation. So I can select my full character and copy all of the keys. And then I can go back to this animation. I select the last key and I can paste it after. So now here you can see I have this animation and then the last animation plays. The last button we have is the mirror values. It will mirror the selected channel values to the other side of the character. And in case you select both sides of the character, then the sides will be flipped. So for example, I could select this arm and mirror it over. And you can see now that both arms have the same bend. Or I can select both arms and mirror them, and then now these sides have flipped. For IK and RF, whatever you select, whether target, join chain, both target and join chain, full or part of it, you will always mirror the full chain according to the spine and the target will return to its leaf position. So if we select an IK, and mirror it over, then you can see that the full chain according to the spine and target has been moved. And that is the transform window.